let's create our shop page and let's customize them and see how Astra shop work if I click on shop it looks like this but if I go to our design the shop page has filter and some kind of shorting and also there is some other features like uh, view you can change the view you can short the filter and also some other features first of all let's make our shop page similar to this design then i'll be changing the design and use the more astra pro feature now let's click on customize so i'm gonna open a new tab here so that i can open this one here in case if i want to view this part again and inside the customizer it will take us to directly to the product catalog page so before going to shop uh, customize the shop page let's explore the woocommerce tab or woocommerce features that are coming with the astra theme so inside the astra customizer settings here you can see additional tab called woocommerce let's zoom in my browser a little bit and if i click on woocommerce you can see there is a couple of tabs here the first one is general then the second one is product catalog single product cart checkout my account miscellaneous and product image and store notice i will explore each and every part here so first of all let's understand general tab inside general there is a container layout and here here we can change our layout so if i change this layout to box mode let's see so we have changed our layout to the box mode and the whole layout is now displaying as a box mode i hope you can view the box feature here now if i change it to default so when i change it to default it will display from global container style and now if i select content box it's still displaying on a box mode and if we add any sidebar it will display here and if i select full width stretch layout it looks like this and if i select full width content layout that's the perfect layout that we are using here and the sidebar there is no sidebar as of now we can add left and right sidebar but we cannot use both of them together let's add left sidebar here it looks like this there is uh, no element inside the sidebar and that's why it looks blank here so i'm not going to use the sidebar as of now i'm going to use no sidebar here and now let's explore product catalog so i'll be exploring them in depth later on so basically the product catalog is how you want to display your shop page or the product items inside your shop it has everything inside the product catalog you can also change the layout you can change the sidebar you can change the shop layout even though you can change the design so there are lots of other features that you can play around with and here you can see the product title color product price content and background and other features content alignment so there is a single product inside the single product basically we will customize when we are using or when we are customizing our single product page if i go to any product this is our single product page we will customize them step by step and the cart is basically our cart page checkout is checkout page my account is my account page you can customize all of them here and miscellaneous has some other features that we'll talking about later on so here is product image size now let's make it our shop page looks like this first so there are lots of things to learn and just start with this design first then we will explore i have said that couple of time now let's navigate to product catalog scroll down and the design is displaying here it looks 
similar perfect in case if you want to use different design if i change it here here you can see it's changing and it will be visible also on front page everywhere where you are using shortcode it's globally changing let's select design 2 and then you can change the column let's use three column here for test purpose it's displaying three column so you can change the content width custom width you can use custom width by default it's displaying container width here and it's now the shop display option you can change the shop product here it's now displaying the shop products you can display the categories or product category let's say click here show subcategories or show category product so as you can see it's nothing here nothing changing here when i select here show categories and products it will do something as you can see it's displaying the category here and also the products all together but i'm not gonna do that i'm going to simply show the products in the category is show products in the default product shorting you can change the shorting by age rating so uh, and popularity inside the shop card structure it's important to understand here you can see the category you can disable the category you can display the category at the bottom of the price i just drag and drop it here you can also display the price at the top and also you can uh, change them you can add short descriptions here you can display add to cart button you can also display the ratings here but i'm not going to do that i'm going to simply keep it simple and make it similar to the design the category title and price let's change it to category title and price and hide all the information and the filter the toolbar structure which is basically this one if i select filter here as you can see it's enable the filter view if i click here here is the filter options we will add some information here later on if i select easy list view options here you can view this option here as available like our figma design click here you can change the list column from two to one that means if i select here here you can see the list column there's only options to add two columns and you can see the content alignment is center you can change it top if i select top it will display the content at the top and if i select center it will display the content at the center and that's the toolbar options you can change the shorting so we are almost near to our design it's almost here go to customize again and shop structure option here you can see display page title let's take a look at her here inside our design there is no page title you can hide them so now the page title is gone you can display breadcrumbs or you can hide them you can enable sticky sidebar by default we do not have sidebar as of now but if we add sidebar in the future i will show you how the enable sidebar work change filter list to button if i uncheck here so basically it's like a filter list uh, it's not available here as of now because we ha we have haven't add any widget and sidebar here so now enable filter accordion so uh, we still didn't add any sidebar then uh, i think we will okay so I, I will be adding a sidebar in the next part let's talk about some other features here so i'm just okay, skipping those part here display active filter it's not necessary you cannot view this as of now here and the quick view let's enable the quick view if i hover over you can see the quick view and when i visit our website you can see here we have 
added a quick view icon and now if i click publish go to our home page scroll down here you can see the quick view and it's working perfectly and here is our add to cart now take a look at here the quick view there are a couple of options on image click after summary if i select after summary you can see the quick view is displaying as a button but i really like on image features and another thing stick add to cart button if i click here it's it's not going to change anything here as of now so if i click publish and see if i hover over here if contents of the pop-up is larger than the button so it's only applicable when you're using pop-up and uh, if the content is larger than the pop-up displaying area then it will stick the button below so i think there is no content that comes with a lot of information so i will show you later on as of now there is no example here that i can share with you because all of them have less content here now shop pagination i have pagination already enabled but the product is very less and that's why it's not available yet and the shop filter button it's currently filter if i click or top take to the top if i change it to button it's displaying as a button here and if i select custom class that means i can add custom class and i can add my own filter here but as of now i'm gonna use link and i can change the custom filter text here and filter panel layout there are two layouts that we can use the top collapsible and flyout right now it's displaying as a flyout filter but when i select top collapsible and click here it will display in this position so let's let's add something inside the filter from widget area close this one and scroll down here you can see shop filter let's add product search add product category or products by okay product categories and filter and filter by attributes so i have added some random widget or block item here let's navigate to shop page reload the page okay it's not shop page here is the shop page and now if i click filter you can see the filter option is visible so we can also change the view to fly out click publish and reload click here it's working so inside the widget here you can see the filter by attribute i have to select color search for product attribute let's i think i have already selected the color let's see why it's not displaying so it's displaying now filter by attribute if i select orange it will display the only orange attributes product so it's working everything seems to be working perfectly here now we have completed our catalog that looks like our figma design now uh, let's talk about and let's change the design and see how much options we are gonna receive or get from astro pro 